Hey, what's up people, it's Vitas Tech, and today we'll be checking out some RGB smart light bars from a company named on for you Now they reached out, they asked if I would be interested in checking out their lights, and I said of course, cause uh, who don't like smart lights? I know you do, cause uh, you're watching this video. Now on the table is everything that you get in the box, starting with the instructions. This may be the first time in history that you may actually want to hang on to those. Outside of that, you get your 3M tape, which I never use because it almost never works. You have your standing bases along with weighted bottoms, heavy on the top and soft padding underneath so you don't scratch up whatever surface you decide to go with. Here you have your hanging buckles with two screws and two plastic extensions. You have your angled supported bases. You have your two-in-one connection cable along with the power adapter and of course the smart light bars themselves. Now, to get set up, you will need to install the Smart Life app. If you hang on to those instructions, just open this up, go to your camera, and scan the QR code, and it will take you directly to it. If not, depending on if you use Android or Apple, go to whatever app store you use, search Smart Life, download it, and you're ready to set it up. Now, you will need an account to get started, and after that, you should probably verify this first, but make sure that you have 2.4 gigahertz internet and not five because these only work on 2.4. Now the setup, once you've actually put made an account and put in your information can be pretty easy. Just come to the top right corner, hit the little add button, hit lighting, go to light source Wi-Fi. As you can see, 2.4, good, five, bad smiley face good sad face bad once you put in your uh, wi-fi information go ahead and hit next now go to your power cable turn the lights off three times one two three turn them back on your lights should start blinking after about four to five seconds so once they start blinking come down here hit confirm that the light is blinking rapidly hit next and this process should take about uh, 20 seconds or so. So you can see it's adding your device. Your lights shall become a solid color. It's ensuring that the Wi-Fi signal is good. It's adding the device now. And just like that, you're good to go. Now you can see it pulled up both the lights. So you can come here and you can name them whatever you want to. I'll just keep it simple since they came up as on one and on two. We'll hit done, but you can name them whatever. And now here you can control the lights individually. So if I go to on one, let's go ahead and go to colors. That one automatically went to red. Let's back out. We'll go to on two. We'll change that color to a light blue. And as you can see, they're being controlled individually. But what I also like to do, go to the top right corner, hit the little edit button. As you can see, they can be controlled through third party. Now, I use the Google Assistant. I don't use Alexa, but most likely you will have no problem using either. Go ahead and come down here, hit create group. Select every light that you have that you want in the same group. So we'll go ahead and group up on one and on two together. We'll save it. You can go ahead and name it whatever you want. Let's just call this one, I'll call it game time we'll hit save and now you can see it takes you back to the original menu now if you hit game time let's just go ahead and turn the lights as you can see now it's being controlled both at the same time we'll go ahead and hit color move it around the spectrum wheel and as you can see both lights are being controlled at the same time now, if you use Google or Alexa on your phone, go ahead and hit the home. And now it should be refreshed in your Google Home. You can go straight to it. Go ahead and look for it. And as you can see, it has on both on one and on two. And from your Google Home, you can go ahead and move it to wherever you want to and control it from just your voice. But after that, let me go get it set up, show a couple different angles, and we'll get out of here.
I'm down, I got that heat, let's go. All right, so final thoughts. After a week of using them, I would say these are really solid. They have nice color ranges, super easy to set up, versatile, can stand or be mounted. They're bright and colorful, can provide backlight for the TV so you don't get eye strain from watching or gaming in the dark. They can struggle on some colors, but they get really bright. I mean like blinding bright. I personally like that the light bar is Wi-Fi based instead of requiring a smart hub. I basically enjoyed everything but the price. These are $70 to $80. If these were $30 to $40, these would be a no-brainer. Or if they had a sync feature to have them match what was on your screen or the audio you was listening to, I wouldn't hesitate. But at $80, you gotta decide if you can live with what you get. It's Vitas Tech. I'll catch you in the next one. Later.